We we have we have a, a, a pet check at 10 10 p.m. and you know um, usually the school system is, is set in such a way that there is a program. So usually between 7 and 9 p.m. that is their study period. So 9 to 9:30 uh, that is their devotion time. So after devotion 10 dot there will be a bell when the students had the ringing of the bell all have to go to bed so that teacher has to go around the dormitories to ensure that each student uh, brought out their nets in order to make sure that the child is well protected so as you know students as you know them sometimes they, some of them wouldn't want to bring out the net but then we make it a rule that every student must make sure that he or she spreads his uh, nets over the bed so the teacher will have to ensure that to make sure that each student brought his uh, nets out but unfortunately for some of them who cannot afford or whose nets are torn completely and then uh, are afraid of the mosquitoes so what they do sometimes they sneak into somebody's bed who has a better net and they sleep together uh, we don't want to encourage that because the bed is so small that it's meant for only one person but because of the uh, protection against malaria or the mosquito bite so that student they have to squeeze themselves into into a bed inside a net and uh, well they sleep sometimes when they say did you spread your net they say well i have to go and sleep with somebody who has the net i say oh who are you so what do you want me to do i say can you please talk to my mother or father to get a net for me and sometimes when i talk to them they will say they can't afford they are battling with the payment of school fees and they don't have much to uh, much to get uh, mosquito nets for them. So what? We sometimes have to end up the issue like that. We leave everything to 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 the hands of God to take care. <laughs> but then, if we can get more of these nets, I know that will help so much. That will help. Now, presently, according to my statistics, uh, about 30% of the students are those that are having uh, uh, nets. So that means we are still having about 70% of that total. So but very few of them are having the net. So um, I remember uh, just two or three days ago, like I said earlier, we had to send students back because they are critically ill. And classes are going on. They have to miss classes. And when they come back, they have to struggle again, try to catch up because all we know, they have to be promoted to the next class if they don't get the maximum mark they need they have to be demoted uh, you can see the struggle here struggling with academics struggling with disease mosquito particularly and uh, other challenges at back at home and in school so it's a critical period studying here but then we thank god the, stu the students are coping up their students are, are really coping up and they are doing trying their best to make sure that they cope up with the situation